It's July 2008 in the Lake District. In the previous two episodes, we followed six children from different backgrounds who all live in Britain as they come together for a camping trip in the lakes. The trip offers the children an opportunity to become friends and to learn more about what it means to be British. But for these children, getting along is not going to be easy. I would like to mix with the white people, it's just that when I go to white areas, I don't feel safe. I wouldn't be mates with an Asian in Bradford because people around me would take the mick out of me and him. For these children, Britain is a place of difference and division. What will happen when they spend the weekend together on the camping trip? This is the axe, and therefore I want to kill any girls. Ian, truly British. Do you think Niall's representation of you is accurate? I'll change the curry because I don't eat curry. Are you going to be able to cook with that? Helping them along is Dr yeah, Nick Barrett, the historian. There's quite a lot of different ideas coming from all of you about what you think it means to be British. After a night in the barn and a day around the farm... How often do you collect the wool? Once a year. Along with some activities exploring identity. And how would you describe someone who is British? Um, someone with white skin. It is now time for the children to get even closer with a night in the tents around a campfire. Will the children discover what it means to be British? OK, guys, just have, let's have a gear dump here. I'll pull, I'll pull the gear down. Because we want to get this, this up and get your food on. Sorry. Right. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> right. Since I've been here, me and Nibby all have uh, become friends. I think we've got stuff in common. Uh, yeah, we've got. We live near each other, and we both have the same sort of vocabulary, if you know what I mean. Quick, this way. What the muffin? Right, let's go. The children select food from all over the world to cook for their dinner. What is that? <laughs> Avocado. Look in it. Where is that from? <laughs> Me. Anyone? I don't know. Right. It's from like loads of different countries. Okay. Cooking in pairs allows the children to work together, but for some, the results are less than perfect. I've got bugs in my beans. Let's have a look. Maggots. You've not got maggots in your beans. Yeah. Where? There. Where's there? That? There was in there. There was in there. Look, that, there. that? Yeah. That is actually part of the bean. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So that you reckon's a maggot, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, but you're hungry. No. They're <laughs> it's horrible. Just beans. <laughs> that is sick. Hey, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? That's meant to be your dinner, not on his back, is it? That's not very sensible. Why have you done that? What the? Do you know what's happened? You're going to have to help him clean that off now. You've got to wear that through the night, OK? Put your food down and help get that off him. Look at that. Oh, wow, that's absolutely stunning. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, isn't that worth coming to the Lake District to see? Feel like you've made friends? Uh, yeah. Um, probably boys better than girls. Is there anything Niall said that's made it difficult to talk to him? Well, I think maybe when like, he said that um, the English people have to be white and have the accent to be English, when that's not really true because you can be English but just live in England and have different colour skin and different accent, but it still makes you English. Just my opinion, really, isn't it? Why do you think you've got that opinion? Where I've been brought up. If you were back at home, would you be able to spend time with people from different backgrounds? People don't want a mix in Bradford, because it's 
I don't know. Predominantly white English. No, but there's Asian as well. So it's like a war? Yeah. So, Nabil, how do you feel? Do you think that would make it difficult to be a friend of Niall? Yeah. How does that make you feel? Bad, because Niall's a good lad. You like Niall? Mm. It's not that, it's just... It's, you don't normally see people in Bradford or places, anywhere. Um, Asians. Asians normally stay in one group, all Asian. And Muslims and... And then you've got just white people, British, hanging around in one group. Do you think it's right that you can't walk down the street, say, with Nabil? I think it's bad. I'd, I'd want to hang around with Nabil or other Asians or Africans. I think everyone should get on. We're all humans. We're all humans. Has actually spending time together <clears throat> changed the way you look at it? Do you feel that you understand people's backgrounds a little bit better when spending time with them? I understand people's backgrounds, but I still probably wouldn't hang around with an Asian. Why's that? Just, it's weird. And just people don't do it in Bradford. Yeah, but would you hang around with someone else, like, from a different background if it wasn't around your area? I seen. So you came to London, right? Mm. Like, to see me or something like that, yeah? Mm. Would you be able to walk down the street with me and other black boys or me and other Asian boys or me and generally people that aren't white, basically? Mm. Would you feel comfortable doing that? In London? Yeah. Yeah, I don't care, but it's in London, it's such a multicultural place, it wouldn't be weird, would it? You still say that you can only be British if you have white skin, or have you started to change your mind about that? Not just white skin, because I'm well, not white skin. Like, if you were born in Britain, and your mum and dad are British. You, you're British, aren't you? Truly. But it don't really matter colour of your skin. I don't think. But Nabil, you were born in Britain. And where were your parents born? My mum's a Muslim Pakistani and she was born in England, my mum. Dad was born in Pakistan. So now, is Nabil British? He's three quarter British and Pakistani a quarter but being truly British. Being British is classed as having British citizenship. So if Nabil's parents have British citizenship, they have the right to feel British and so does Nabil. You have a Pakistani heritage and does that affect the way you feel about being British? Mm. No? You feel you are British. Muslim British. Yeah. Muslim British. People just don't want a mix. They want to stay with their own people. And I don't think that's a bad thing. You don't think that's a bad thing? No. Why's that? Because they're the people who you like, so. But we spent time with people from different backgrounds and yeah, you I like... said you like people that you've met. But... Mm. I'd try it, but there's a lot of people who wouldn't. Do you think if people spent more time with people from different backgrounds, that would help? Yeah, you definitely. Think? You feel like you've learned something a bit about different backgrounds mm. today? How are you doing? <laughs> you look half asleep. I've learned from the campfire debate that people's opinions can be influenced by their environment, their social lives, and also their upbringing. Oh dear, you do look tired, don't you? Me? <laughs> I had a well good night's sleep. Have you? I'll go to sleep in when I be ill, because he'll be talking to me all night and being funny. There you go. 
I wish that teachers could bring kids like this at a summer camp so you can make more friends and different friends. Is it comfortable? A little yeah. bit, yeah. I think I have changed a bit because like I've met other people that from other places so I've got to like know their opinion and stuff and how they feel about themselves which has made me like feel a bit different as well. I think comping like uh, is a really good is a really good thing because you can like meet uh, meet new people, learn f learn from other people, and you can get like chance to discuss things and it's really good. We've all swapped each other's numbers, so we like to meet. Up. There's quite a lot of different ideas coming from all of you about what you think it means to be British, and in many ways, I think we can knock some of those on the head. Being British is not about the colour of your skin. It's not even about whether you were born here. It's about what you add to the community. It's about what you add to society. It's about what you do when you actually live in Britain. That's what makes you British. People have been coming to this country for centuries. Even in the last 40 or 50 years or so, people from different parts of the world have come and added so much value. So it's all about adding to society. And that gives everyone the equal right to be British and to call themselves part of our community and our society. So if someone is born outside of Britain and comes to live here, then they can yeah. be British. Yeah. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Has that actually changed the way you see people who've well, moved yeah, to Britain? Well, yeah, since, since we've talked about it, I know what British means. So if your mum and dad move here from a different country and get a citizenship, they're British. The camping experience and learning about what it means to be British has developed a new sense of togetherness for the children and has removed many inhibitions, leading to a bit of a talent show. Fighting for an area code, what's the point, man? It's just the number one road, stabbing people for nothing. I say that's just cold. They say the good die young, but the bad live old. <laughs> How's that? You've been wanting to do that all week, haven't you? Hey! Well done! Right behind. A few days ago, I thought an Asian kid wouldn't have a thing in common with me. But since I've met Nabil, we do have quite a bit in common. Nile and I have become good mates. What about my friend? camping trip has offered these children an opportunity to become friends and discover what it means to be British. Look at them black and white sheep, they're getting on, it's a good example to us.